Now to find a soulmate. All right, guys. Welcome back to the most amazing gaming channel in the world. Today we're going to be going over the season four Aphrodite build. Um, Minions have spawned. I I gotta say, this is, she was one of the hardest gods to actually come up with the actual build order. And I'm gonna throw this out there as a disclaimer. I don't know if I have perfected the build order. Um, but, um, if you haven't already, go through the Twitch and Twitter down below in the description box. And let's get started. First thing I wanna upgrade is gonna be your three. Then you go into your two, your three, your one, your ult. And then at this point, you wanna upgrade the uh, three there. Uh, the three is gonna be incredibly powerful. Um, I like up upgrading the ult whenever possible because not only does it lower the cooldown, but it also increases your invulnerability time, which is pretty helpful. Um, with that, I'll hold on to the ability at level 8, and then I'll go into the 3 and ult, go into your 2, and then an ult, 2, 1, 1, and your 1 is always last. Um, just because the movement speed and jealousy, it's... It's decent, but overall, I mean, your combo by itself is pretty strong. Your combo is basically you go with the one, hit the one, your kiss, and then you go birds, and then your bird bomb. And then essentially they're going to take half their health. But anyways, I do have a couple builds here. One is going to be um, basically the solo lane build. Uh, I don't think Aphrodite's a mid laner. I really don't think so. Um, I think that there's other mid laners that are better. Um, solo lane though, this is kind of what it's going to be. I like going into Shoes of the Magi here. Uh, the reason why, usually you'll see me on other th gods like Hades, where I really like to kind of rush Warlocks. Um, going into Shoes of the Magi here really allows you to be able, as soon as you get full stacks on Shoes of the Magi, depending on your level, I think it's like level 7, your uh, Bird Wave will clear the entire wave, which is huge, because you can throw it, throw it, and then run away. So unless it's like a Guan Yu can heal, then you don't have to worry about it. But for the most part, this going to Shoes of the Magi and then Warlocks. Now, those two are the ones that you definitely have to get on because you need to start building stacks. Uh, as the third item, it really comes down to how, in a sense, the game is going. Um, if I'm taking a lot of poke damage from their solo laner or their jungler, I'm going to pick up Breastplate of Valor here. If I'm not really picking up any, like, taking any damage, um, I'll see... Um, if they're just getting poke on me, if they're not really ever getting close to killing me or anything like that, but I just want to be able to get some more, like, heals off. Um, like, if I'm getting ganked a lot, uh, and my teammates are coming over, I'll probably pick up Rod with Asclaps just to be able to get it on over, or Asclepius, whatever you want to call it. Um, or... Shield of Regrowth. If I just kind of want that extra like healing and kind of movement, if I'm going to be, if I'm winning my lane dominantly, um, say it was like, let's just say Serk hit um, or Sasanu, so he wasn't clearing lane and I'm able to out rotate him, I'm going to pick up Shield of Regrowth because then I can use my three on the min wave, I'll get the healing, and then I can run over and start ganking another lane. So it's, it's incredibly difficult. This is why it's really hard to come up with the exact build for her. But I'm going to try and make this as good as possible. Um, I'd go into Breastplate of Valor here. Then I'd go on into face, Shield of Regrowth. Right? This is going to be able to get you your rotations, be able to traverse the map quicker. If you ever do get pushed out and you have to, and your teleport's not up, you can also use Shield of Regrowth to get back to lane. Then I'll go ahead and pick up Bulwark of Hope and then Rod of Asclepius last. Uh, again, it's incredibly difficult because it does change depending on the game. As I was telling you, a lot of poke damage and stuff, I'll go Breastplate. If I'm getting ganked and, uh, you know, my jungler is tower diving to get the kill, I'm going to go right up Asclepius just to give him their extra healing. If I'm winning my lane and no one's ganking mine, I'm going to go Shield of Regrowth so I can get the better, you know, travel. It, it, it's really tough, but it does change. Overall, this is going to be the build for solo lane here for you. So again, choose the Magi, Warlocks to Breastplate. Uh, Shield of Regrowth to Bulwark, and then Rod of Asclepius last. Um, or, say that you are wanting to mid lane. Do not get Bulwark of Hope or sh or uh, any of those. Um, after going into Warlocks, pick up Pythag's piece, or Pythagorum's piece. Um, basically, it's going to give you a ton of stuff. It's going to give you a cooldown. It's going to give you a ton of magical lifesteal. You're going to be, like, fucking undefeated so with this. Like, you can right heal 50% of your life by uh, using your three on the entire min wave. Um, it's ridiculous. Um, after Pythagoras piece, I would probably go on into Rod of Asclepius. Uh, this is going to be able to basically give your uh, team and your jungler a lot more health. Uh, then I'd go into Shield of Growth and then Rod of Tahuti. Um, oh as you can see, it's pretty strong. You do get that 552 movement speed. And, I mean, it's... I think that's kind of the best build, but I did want to give you guys both of them in one video. Um, but to talk about the combo there, you do the kiss. And like I said, I did hit him 
There we go. It took about half of himself. Now, yes, he's got no protections and everything, so yada yada. Anyways, guys, uh, if you did like it, give it a like, comment, subscribe. Um, like I said, I tried to get both videos all in one so you don't have to watch two separate videos. So I'll leave it kind of at that. Thank you guys so much. And until the next time, have yourself a fucking amazing life.